Well, it's a gorgeous fall day today, and I wanted to take a little bit of time to do a quick video up on this. This is a uh, 2024 Ram 1500 Longhorn, and this is a top, top, top of the line South Fork edition. So if you want the best, um, this is going to be uh, one you're going to want to take a peek at. Now, this is going to be a lot longer video than normal, uh, just because there's so many options and features that we got to talk about here to, to kind of give you an idea what's all inside this truck. But let's get started. Uh, we'll kind of goes over some of the options. Now, as soon as you get to the Longhorn, you're going to get that cowboy interior. Uh, we're going to take a look at that when we get inside. This has the South Fork Edition, which has uh, got some special seats inside. Uh, it also comes with a bright pedal package, the multifunction tailgate, which we're going to look at. Basically, it splits open in two different ways, folds down as well. So we'll take a look at that when we get to the back of the truck. Uh, it has a trailer tow group, uh, and this is the upgraded one as well. So there's a dial on the dash. You can actually uh, turn the dial. To back your trailer up so it makes it a lot easier to do that comes with reverse guidance control uh, a couple other things trailer brake control of course is standard in that has the off-road package which makes it sit a little bit taller if you're taking a look at the way this truck sits it's a little bit higher than what you're normally going to be looking at also comes with all the skid plates on your transfer case fuel uh, fuel tanks suspension steering gear so there's lots of extra protection underneath also in that package you get the electronic locking rear differential so there's a button on the dash, and you just press it, and it'll lock your axle up. Uh, makes it a lot better for if you're doing some off-road driving. Although, truck this nice, I can't imagine you'd be doing tons of off-road driving. It's a pretty fancy truck to be driving off in the mud and the dirt, but you never know. Uh, Heads-up display in it as well. Uh, so if you're driving on the highway, you're, it'll show you the speed you're going. It'll kind of cast it out of, of like digitally in front of the hood. It's kind of like a hologram type idea. Uh, it's really hard to display that when we do the video, but I'll do the best I can. Uh, it comes with power running boards, adaptive cruise control. This one's got the 19-speaker Harman Kardon sound system. It'll actually parallel park itself, this particular truck. There's a button that'll uh, it'll, it'll take over the steering components for you if you want it to. Uh, it's got a spray and bed liner, a tonneau cover. Now, we did add a few other goodies as well. We added the panoramic sunroof. It's got the bigger fuel tank, the 22-inch tires and wheels. Ram boxes and the hitch on the back. So overall, this is probably the fanciest truck you're going to find in a new half ton from from Dodge. Uh, MSRP on this is just over 103, uh, and just a fancy, gorgeous truck. So let's get started across the front here. You can see how it's got the chrome grille, the Ram logos. I'm just going to set my clipboard down here. Obviously, I didn't do that all from memory. I've, my memory's good, but it's not like it used to be. Across the front. You can see a little camera here. There's got a 360-degree camera every, or all the way around. It'll do like a visual imprint. We'll take a look at that when we get inside. Lots of chrome grills. Uh, you can kind of see it's got the high-intensity discharge headlights. These actually spin, too, when you're turning corners. They'll actually kind of drive like at an angle, so you can kind of see where you're going. Um, you, never, you don't notice it when you're driving it. Uh, the only time I've been actually able to activate it is uh, I was driving one time, and I kind of swerved back and forth between lanes on the road just to see what I could get it to do. You can kind of pick it up if you're really aggressively driving. You can kind of see the headlights turning and the effect that they have on the road for you. But um, it, it's kind of a background safety feature, just sort of runs, and it's just there when you need it. So once again, we talked about the chrome. We've got the chrome bumpers. We've got the chrome tow hooks to dress it right up. We've got these little sensors here. Those are going to pick up when you're driving if you're about to bang into something, like when you're in a parking lot or whatever. It'll start beeping at you before you run into anything. Most important part, Big Lakes Dodge front license plate bracket. Got to have that. Over here, we got some more sensors. Uh, these are going to be some more of these proximity sensors. Uh, Built-in fog lights with the LEDs. Uh, nice and bright. Uh, nice thing, too, is when you're turning a corner, when you slow down, let's say you're driving down the road and you're coming into a parking lot or whatever, and you're going maybe 20, 30 kilometers an hour, and you turn the wheel, it'll actually turn those little lights on for you to kind of light up the corner you're rolling into. On the wheels, uh, these are the 22-inch rims and tires. Uh, these are the upgraded tires. They're the Falcon All Seasons All Terrain, so they're good in the winter and in the snow. You shouldn't have to buy any new tires. These are just kind of an all all year round thing, um, and they look fantastic with those little black pockets in there with the chrome. It just looks great. It's an e-torque, so you can kind of see it's got the e-torque logo here. Basically, what that means is there's a battery behind the back seat. And when you take your foot off the brake, it's going to take the juice from the battery, spin a cam in the engine, and, and fire the truck up for you and get it going. So it's um, a little bit more torque out of the hole. I think it's like another 110 foot-pounds of torque off idle. So it's quite a bit peppier. Um, if you're pulling a trailer, it's handy. Um, 
I guess if you're drag racing your buddy, come in handy there too. I'm going to open the door here. I just want to show you power running boards. You see how those boards just kind of fell down? They, they dropped down. Nice and easy too if you're a bit older. Uh, these boards are great. They've got a nice wide step to them. Makes it really easy to get in and out. You can see i got a size 10 and a half foot boot, so you can see how wide these bars are. And it makes it easy to climb in and out of the truck with that, with that drop down height. Inside, this is the South Fork interior. You can see they've got a, a brown crush suede in here. Of course, you get the Longhorn Edition logos with the fancier leather seats. You get the nice uh, tan piping. All the interior is done all in the long, in the uh, Special Edition, South Fork Edition. It's just uh, just gorgeous interior in here. Just looks fantastic. Across the hood, or, or the dash here, this is a leather uh, 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 top. And they've got extra piping in here as well. Some stitching. Nice uh, wood. This is real wood as well. And in behind, there's some uh, a light in here that kind of cascades, bays down this uh, front um, dash when you're driving at night. Looks really classy. Just press the button. This pops open. You can see you got a suede inset liner in here. Even look closely, you can see it's got like a, uh, an engraved etching, kind of like a saddle etching type thing on the chrome piece there to dress it up. So nice protection in there. Glove box opens up. Inside here, we got some stuff. This is your... Um, your plug-in for your uh, tailgate if you take your tailgate off you want to protect the wiring on the truck so it doesn't get damaged you can do that there's your owner's manuals these are your tire pressure uh, sensors for when you're pulling a trailer what you do is you put these inside your trailer okay your trailer rims and tires you'll have to get them installed like at a tire shop or you know we can get your price on if you want us to do it for you and what it does is it'll um It'll, it'll tell you what the tire pressure is in your, in your, on your tires as well on your trailer. So not only does it monitor the tires on your pickup truck, it'll monitor the, the tire pressure in your trailer when you're pulling it as well. Nice Longhorn mats. they got the extra uh, inset panel. You can take these off. they got little dome snaps if you want to use it like an all-weather map. You can also undo these, take them out and clean them. makes it real easy to clean and tidy up. And the, Plus, they, you know, they're all form-fitted to, and uh, the cut design for the truck itself. Power seats to go forward and back. We've got a power lumbar here for your lower back support. You can raise and lower your lower back support with a little airbag in there, and it'll kind of push it in and out, make it a little bit more comfortable for you. So it's got some nice features that way. On the door trim, this long, uh, the addition kind of continues on. You can see we've got the etching cut into here on that South Fork edition. We've got the wood. So you can see it's got the crushed suede in here. So that's all part of that South Fork package. Normally, it's not like that. Uh, you also see we've got the better speakers. Harman Kardon sound system. There are 19, 19 speakers, I think, throughout the vehicle. Everywhere you look, there's kind of another speaker. Uh, in the door trim, we got a little pocket here to kind of keep your uh, water bottles and stuff out of the way. Uh, the nice thing about having this liner is it um, stops your cup from rattling around in there. Plus, you can take it out and clean it. You just pull this back and lift it out. You can hose it off like in a wash bucket and stuff it back in when you're done. Keep everything nice and clean. In the back seat, uh, same thing continues along here. This little headrest folds down. A oh, little extra plastic there from the, the shipping when we built it. They got they put a protective cover on there. We take them off when we put the seat when we clean them up for the showroom. So just miss that little piece. Anyway, this back headrest this just flips down like that. So if you're driving with no passengers in the back, you can see out the back window a lot easier. Our armrest folds down here. You can see this lifts up. Little storage container in here, and then it also flips up like that if you want to keep the three the the uh, three seats across the back a little bit fancier armrest the other thing too with these seats if you pull this lever up here okay just lift that the seat will actually recline the, the bottom of the seat slides forward and it makes it more of a comfortable angle for sitting at so if you've got some older people or if you're like basically what i mean anybody that's not in a car seat at that point um they can recline the seats and get a lot more comfortable back here on like a long road trip continuing on we got that fancier crush suede here this is your little belt buckle Longhorn uh, map pockets in here, so you can and you can kind of see how it gets the extra belt buckle for dressing it up a little bit. That's just cosmetic, doesn't really do anything. Just looks nice. Uh, heated seats in the back, cooled seats in the back. They got USB ports for the rear passengers. Normally you don't get all this stuff. There's a little power point there as well for plugging in your, you know, laptop, computer, or whatever they want to do. Uh, kids can run gaming consoles out of there if they want to. More real wood uh, trim. Underneath here, these seats lift up. There's a little storage pockets inside there. They've got another storage bin as well. So you've got lots of places to store odds and ends and keep things out of the way. Uh, great place to put 
you know, your uh, safety kits, that sort of thing, extra pair of work gloves, you know, in case you get a flat tire or something. And that way you've always got the stuff when you need it. Door trim in the back, same as the front. Lots of etching, lots of wood, lots of suede. So it's really dressed up quite nicely. Going to the back of the truck, a couple things. Uh, it's got the round boxes, so let's pop this open and have a look inside. You can see how that just flips up. And now you got a ton of storage in here. you got got places to store all kinds of odds and ends. There's also a drain plug here. You just pull that little plug out, right? And then you can hose this out, and then the water will just run down when you're cleaning it. It's got these little dividers in here. You can buy accessory kits that'll, that'll allow you to have the dividers. I've seen like a gun rack uh, that you can put in there. All kinds of cool stuff available and out there for people if you want to use it. So just different things you can buy. Uh, rear mud flaps, we added that at, when we did the PDI. So it's not a factory thing. It's something we just did here. If you are looking to, uh, it's included in the price online. We didn't put the front flaps on. I left those off. I just did the rears when we did the safety. If you want to get more accessories, by all means, give us a call. We'd be happy to try and, and uh, our parts department would be happy to sell you more stuff. So we can make that go away for you as well. On the back, uh, we got the dual exhaust tips sticking out through the chrome uh, bumper, so it looks pretty cool. Particularly like at this time of year when you get like the smoke drifting out when you're idling. I just think it looks neat. The extra side step here to make it easier to get in the tailgate. I'm just going to step on it. You can kind of see how that just slides out. And now you've got an extra step to climb in the box if you want to. Makes it a lot easier to climb in when you're done. You just kick it out of the way. Let's go through the tailgate. So a couple things. First off, it's got the tonneau cover right from the factory. Okay, to help protect your stuff so nobody can see it. But if you do want to open the tailgate, there's two buttons inside this tailgate handle. There's this one here and then the top one. We press the bottom one, you can see this tailgate swings open like this, so you can see now that's the side, and then you reach over here, and we're going to grab this side of the tailgate with this handle, and that opens like that. Okay, now, now you got access to your box, so it's real easy to kind of get in here and slide some things in. So let's say you had a couple of hockey bags or something, now you can get nice and close and throw your stuff in this area, okay? Uh, the other thing that makes it handy is you're not going to be leaning over the tailgate and getting mud on your pants when you're doing that or anything that you really need to load. This has the optional divider bar in it as well. Right now I've got it locked in place. We can just unlock it just by spinning that lever and now that just loosens these off. We slide these little bars out of the way and we can adjust this through these little dividers all the way down the box as you go ahead. I've got this one locked here right now. The reason why I like it there is, let's say you had like a propane bottle or a jerry can full of gas. We could just set it right in here, and it's going to stop it from sliding all over the place by having that divider bar right there. But you can move it wherever you prefer to have it. A couple other things. Got a nice LED lights built in so you can see what you're doing. In the dark, we can kind of flick those off and on if you don't have them. If, uh, if the vehicle's not running and already activated those lights for you, you can, you can engage them. It also has a spray and bed liner, okay, already right from the factory. So it's not going to scratch up your... Uh, Scratch up all your gear in there. Oh, got to close this one first. And I'll show you the other way this tailgate works. Close that one and close that one. And now you can reach in the tailgate as well. And we can just open it up and just have it open and close like a normal tailgate. So that's the multifunction gate. It allows you the access of a couple of different ways of getting in and out. It's a lot more, a lot more handy for loading cargo and that kind of stuff. Of course, you've got all your wiring down here for your your uh, trailers so you can plug those in and your hitch down below as well we already kind of talked about that on this side let's just pop this this round box i want to show you this one's got a few extra goodies in it that the other side didn't have basically the layout inside the box is the same but the main difference is it's got this extra power point in here so you can plug stuff in so this is like a like another plug-in just like we looked at on the back of the center console when we were inside the truck uh if you plug stuff in here you could use this to say charge your uh so you got a cordless drill, right? You can plug your cordless drill in, charge your battery packs while you're driving. Uh, you could use it for that sort of stuff. Looking in this side, uh, kind of open up a little bit. I should probably point out a few things. This seat does flip up out of the way too. There is a divider uh, bar underneath these seats too for your cargo. And you can adjust this. You can flip this down and fold it up like that. And, he, and then it just makes it like for a smaller area. So there's lots of little attachments and ways you can organize your cargo loads in the back. This side reclines too, and uh, there's a lever here that you can lift up, so just this part of the seat will slide ahead and make it a little bit more comfortable. Overhead, you can see we've got the panoramic sunroof. I've got the, the, uh, the vent open. This little vent here opens and closes. If you want to, you can kind of close it up, but I leave it open. just lets a little bit more sun in there. makes it a little bit nicer. Okay, let's go to the front. 
So we got power windows, we got power locks, we got power mirrors. These mirrors are power folding. If we press that middle button, you can see the mirrors just fold in like that. So if you got a tight parking spot or a tight garage or something like that, it makes it nice and handy. You kind of flip those out of the way when you park. We've also got all your settings one and two. Uh, that allows you to program it for two different drivers. So you can have it all set up. And then if uh, your spouse hops in to take it for a spin, they can just readjust it and drive, you know, all the radio stations go where they want it, all the seats go where they want it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, driver seats power, power lumbar too, like we looked at before. A couple more buttons down here. We've got power pedals, so we can move our pedals in and out, little, get a little bit more comfortable. And we've also got this button here. If we hit that, that's what turns on that plug that we were just looking at inside the round boxes. Okay, inside... This is your heads up display uh, and it's not going to come in. I've tried a couple of different times to pick up a, a digital image. You can kind of see it flicker in there a little bit maybe in the camera, but it, you can't actually see it. But what it is, is it's telling me the speed the vehicle's going and all kinds of different stuff. So there's a fair amount of information available to you. Not this little opening here is what shoots that light out ahead to give you that hologram. On the steering, uh, we've got a couple of control panels. We've got one on this side, which controls everything in the center dash. And then on this side, we've got our cruise control. We've got our adaptive cruise control. Uh, think of this as two separate cruises. This is uh, the normal one. And then if you use this one, what it does is you're setting the distance between you and the vehicles in front of you. And as you're driving down the road, as you get close to somebody, it'll actually keep that set distance. So it makes it for a lot more comfortable drive, like on a long road trip on the highway and that kind of stuff. This is your gear selectors. You can use these to shift up and down. So what you're doing is you're telling the, tr the truck how many gears it's allowed to use. So you can use it to downshift or go down steep hills or let's say you're pulling a stump out of the bush or something. You can use it for that too. So let's go through the dash. So this is just some of the screens. We're going to kind of toggle through some of them real quick just to kind of give you an idea of what's available. So you got a nice big tack and a nice big speedometer. If you don't want that, we could just make it go away with just a digital speedometer. And then again, it gives you an analog tack down here at the bottom. A couple of different things. The other thing you can do too you can hit this cascade button and it just gives you like a summary screen of everything that you got so now you got your speedometer kind of like a little overlay of all the different screens we're going to go through here in a second next screen that we've got here is your driver's information so this is what tells you if your adaptive cruise control is on i'm just going to turn it on here now it's ready you can kind of see as those bars are going up and down i'm setting the distance of how close i'm going to let the truck get to the to the vehicles in front of me we got the cruise control set uh, the next screen we've got is your driver's information center. This is all your tire pressures, if your start stops ready to go, any of this kind of stuff. It gives you your distance to empty, uh, your average fuel economy. Obviously, our fuel economy isn't very good right now because it's been idling in the parking lot, but uh, it usually gets about 14 to 15 liters per hundred. That seems to be the norm on with the Hemi V8. Temperature gauges, uh, anything to do with your vehicle itself. So this is all kind of like just what's going on with the vehicle. Tripometer, uh, you've got two tripometers, A and B. Nice thing about having that is I can reset this one. Okay, so now I'm, it's starting to keep track from right now, but I haven't lost my data on trip A. So you can see in five hours, we've gone 27 kilometers. This is the coolest feature that I think for this new dash is it, it actually takes your uh, nav screen and throws it up here for you. So you can use your center dash for your navigation. Steering, uh, off-road, this is your, uh, is your drive terrain engaged or not, is your rear diff. Like if we lock our rear diff, I'm just going to press the button here, I'll show you. So now while we've locked our rear axle, and you can see how it gives you a little lock sign on your rear diff. So if you're doing off-road, it'll tell you what's going on. And then this is your pitch and roll. It'll tell you how steep of a hill you're climbing, how steep of a side hill you're on. Trailer tow, this just keeps track of how many kilometers you've been pulling your trailer. Next screen is your brake, like how much gain. Yeah, uh, so how much juice you're sending to the rear brakes. And then if your tire pressures were hooked up, we could look at our tire pressures through this one screen. But you got to put the monitors, those little sensors we looked at in the glove box, we got to actually get those installed. Uh, radio station just tells you what's playing on the radio, name of the songs, that sort of stuff. And then you're back to your main uh, uh, stored message screen. This one here is where you set your screen up so you can customize this. Like right now we've got a compass up here and the temperature gauge. You can change that. You can change this gauge. You can, you can basically customize everything the way you want it. If you go into the heads up display, this is where you change all your layout for your, like what's going to be shown as far as your speedometer and, and speed limits or, you know, your nav directions, all that kind of stuff. You can kind of customize it through here when you're setting up your screens. 
Okay, let's go back to the main one out of here. We're going to get exit out of here. And there we go. Now you're back to your main speedometer. Okay, uh, nice heated steering wheel. I'm actually quite enjoying that today. My hands are a little chilly from doing this video outside, so it's kind of nice to warm that up there. And you've also got the built-in wood grain down here in the bottom of the uh, on the Longhorns. Kind of dresses it up a little bit. Over here, we got their axle lock. So that's how you lock your rear diffs together. So we talked about that when you're doing 4x4. Four four. You've also got this button here, which is your off-road... Uh, Think of it like cruise control. Basically, what you can do is you can activate that. When it's in four low, you can set the vehicle to go like two miles an hour, and it'll just kind of crawl down a back trail for you. And then when you get, uh, um, you don't have to, basically, it's like an off-road cruise control. So it makes it a lot more fun when you're driving off-road. Start, stop, we can disable it. Uh, because of this has that big battery pack, it'll use it to start the engine if you're in stop and go traffic. Uh, if for some reason you don't want it to do that, you want it to just stay running, you can just disable the start, stop just by hitting that big button there. We got a two high, a four high, a four low, and a four by four auto. Uh, four by four auto is what you're going to want to use when you're driving on the highways and the roads are kind of sloppy. That way, it'll, the truck will decide if it needs to be in four by four or not. Four by four high is what you're going to want to use when you're driving in four wheel drive on gravel roads, anywhere where your tires can slip a little bit and you're not going to be binding up the drive line. And then four low, of course, is what you want to use when you're doing some true off road. Center console. I guess we'll talk about the keys. You can see you got your lock, your unlock. We can pop that button to pop open our tailgate and lower it you've also got your remote start built in inside here nice long horn uh badging here this is a like a i guess it's a plastic i guess is what it is but it just looks pretty cool inside here this flips up little felt liner another usb port to charge your phone down below even more storage little divider here that you can kind of flip up to keep your stuff from sliding around inside your uh, uh console when you got a bunch of junk in there these here, uh, I've got the, these panels down. This is a real wood covering. If you press this button, they flip open. Inside here, you've got your coin holders and places for some extra change. Okay, and if I hit this one, it opens up, and then there's your cup holders. Now, we can also grab this little lever here and slide everything back. Now, we've got access to the front of the storage bin. Gives you a ton of space to store some odds and ends down there. You can take your cell phone. We can just jam it in here, and then that'll charge. Uh, that's your RAM charger pad. And what it does is, if you, as long as you got a newer cell phone, it'll charge the battery on your cell phone when you're driving. Then you got another uh, pad there as well for storing your other cell phone or something else you'd like to jam in there. A little storage tray, some more USB ports. If you want to plug them in manually and charge them that way, you can. I do find that when I use these ports, my cell phone charges a lot quicker than when I'm using the RAM charger pad. Okay, so let's get into the steering wheel controls. This is your trailer brake controller for uh, uh, engaging the brakes on your trailer. And then you can adjust your game with the plus minus. If we turn this knob, that's how you back your trailer up. So once this is all set up, basically you just put your vehicle in reverse, okay? And then you can use this to dial to back the trailer up. It's a little hard to explain how it works, but it's a lot easier to back your trailer up. Unless you're really good at backing trailers up, uh, like my wife has it on her truck. She prefers just to back it up manually because she's pretty good at it. I prefer to use this. I just find it a lot easier to do what I need to do. Uh, over here, we've got our tow haul mode, so you can engage that. Basically, that just updates your software and changes how it shifts and drives. makes it a lot easier to, uh, to pull your trailer, a lot more enjoyable of a ride. And then you can turn your traction control off if you like. That's just by hitting that button. And then um, the, why you would want to do that is let's say you want to spin your tires for some reason. So you're stuck in the mud or whatever. And then you can turn your park sensors off as well on the front and the back. So those are those little circles we were looking at in the front bumper and the little circles we were looking at in the back bumper. Sometimes they're going to get covered in mud and dirt, right? And they're not going to be, they're going to beep at you. So you can just kind of engage those as well. Up here, we've got a couple more buttons. We can disable our, tra our uh, lane keep assist. Okay, so we just hit that. Uh, what that's going to do is when you're driving down the highway, if you start to drift out of your own lane, you can, it'll, the truck will try to uh, steer itself back into its own lane. Well, as long as you got the settings turned on, it will. Uh, but you can disable it if you want. And you've also got this parallel park button. By hitting that button, what it does is it sets everything up so it'll parallel park itself. What it does is it looks for a spot, and then uh, you just follow the directions on the dash and put it in reverse, and the truck will back up for you. You don't have to do it. Nice big center screen. Okay, so we've got our heat controls here. Uh, where we'd like the air to blow. These are actual buttons, so you don't actually have to use the touch screen if you don't want to. Same for the passenger as well. They can use their own touch buttons. But if you do want to access the touch screen, all you do is you go through here, 
hit the uh, uh, comfort button, it'll take you to this screen, and now you can activate everything through here. There's your main home screen. Uh, you've got like a nav up top, down below we've got our radio stations. If you want to, you can scroll to a different one. You can edit your own pages, okay, so we can add a page. You can decide your layout that you'd like it to be. And then as we go through this, you can just kind of open everything up. You can say, well, I'd like my radio stations here. I think over this side, I'd like my climate controls. Maybe down here, I'd like to put my heated seats. And over here, I think we'll put, uh, I don't know. We'll put recent phone calls. So now you got kind of everything on one screen. And then as you're using it, you can change screens back and forth if you like. So this is customizable, I guess, is what I'm trying to show here, is you can make it however you like. Going to the next screen, we've got our media. So this is just what's playing on the radio stations. It tells you the artist, the song, all that kind of stuff. you got Sirius XM. Tons of different ways of getting your music in here, too. you got USB ports, auxiliary cables, Alexa. So if you've got a different type of player, it's, we're going to be able to figure out how to get it to play music for you. Well, generally speaking, anyway. Uh, browse. This is if you got Sirius XM satellite hooked up. You can go say, well, I want to see what all the sports are today. Uh, if there's a baseball game or something you'd like to listen to, you can hit MLB play-by-play. -play, and you can kind of scroll through, find your team, right? As long as the broadcast game is being played, you can pick it up and listen to it. I find with this, uh, you do... It, it doesn't work as well. You need to have like a, it, it's not good enough just to have the satellite reception. It's almost like you need the Wi-Fi uh, high-speed internet to be hooked up to make it work. You don't have to pay for it as long as you're hooked up to Sirius XM, but it is kind of, it, it doesn't work as well, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere, it may be a little harder for you to pick up your Blue Jays game. Audio settings, all your radio stations. Uh, you can actually access your surround sound. This is where you change all your bass controls, balance, fader, all that kind of stuff. So you got you can kind of piddle with the stereo system that you've got. We go to the nav system. Now here's your main nav screen. It's going to boot up here for us. This is just a nice big version of the map. Uh, so you can kind of see where you're going. You can zoom in and out. You can slide everything around. Okay. I like to use this screen a lot when I'm driving in the city because it makes it a lot easier to figure out where I'm at. If you have your phone paired, this is where it would show up. Normally what people do now is they use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, though, uh, and it'll override this phone button, so all your uh, it'll just basically mirror your cell phone up here on the screen. So if you can use your cell phone, it's going to show up here as a digital version. It just makes things a lot easier to use. Vehicle, here's where we control everything. Okay, so we can access all the cameras. Uh, might as well go. Well, I guess we'll start with a control setting. These are all your vehicle cameras. So these are all the cameras that you have access to. So you've got like a surround view camera. You got a left camera. This is we're looking at our left mirror. Uh, the backup camera that out the back of the pickup truck. Uh, they've got auxiliary camera inputs. You can access those as well. So you can piddle around with adding cameras. As kits you can buy to do that for you. Um, on the dashboard, there's our off-road pages. So basically, this is just a digital version of what we were looking at earlier on the 4x4 screens. This is kind of a handy screen, too. I'll show you this other one. I want to um, Let's go back to our accessory gauges here. Go to the uh, tra uh, trailer towing screens, and it'll tell you all your tire pressures here, what your trailer brake and, and gain is at. We can, access, we can activate this light check. So when we activate that, if we had our trailer plugged in, what it's going to do now is going to cycle through left signal, right signal, backup lights, all that kind of stuff. And then what we do is we just stand at the back of the trailer and just make sure all our lights are working rather than turning it on, walking backwards, come back, you know what I mean? Or have somebody yell at you to make sure all the lights are working. So it's an easy way to check all your trailer lights. A um, couple other things, you can set it up. You can name all your trailers here. Like if once your trailer's plugged in, you can give it a name so you can keep track if you've got two or three different trailers. So lots of handy stuff there. In your settings, this is where you program your truck to operate the way you want it to. So you can have your tire pressure and bar, PSI, whatever you want to do there. How long do you want your truck to stay on when you shut it off? Tons of stuff that you can control through here. So this is where you, you lay out the how you want the truck to operate. Chances are pretty good because they're so high end now that you can program everything the way you like it. Definitely worth spending some time playing inside this software. Because uh, just the availability and different things you can do is just amazing. Okay, up top we got a digital camera. So as you can see, 
this is a digital screen and it's actually broadcasting what's coming out the uh, camera on the back of the tailgate we flick this down now that's the real camera so you can kind of see that i'm adjusting this is so this is like a normal one you can see my head there i'm holding the camera and then we flip it back it goes to a straight digital version um digital version is nice like if you had something blocking your revision so you couldn't see properly what's nice about having this here is it allows you to see out the back uh without having your your view obstructed up top we got a little coin uh sunglass holder you can open that up keep your uh keep your glasses out of the way from getting scratched we can open and close our sunroof from here uh this is how we open and close the slider on the roof and our rear sliding window we can open and close it from there You've also got these buttons here, the assist and the SOS button. What that does is that's your Sirius XM Guardian hookups. Uh, so if we hit this button, the RCMP are going to show up. Uh, once you're, I think you get three months free, and after that you got to pay for it. But it allows you to use the app. To, uh, you can download on your phone, and you can use your phone app to start your truck. Uh, you can find your truck. You can lock the doors on your truck. Uh, it does all kinds of stuff. If it's stolen, it'll locate it, that sort of thing. I think it's 25 bucks a month. I think is what it is, or 26 bucks a month, something like that. Uh, so I recommend everybody download it, play with it, uh, see if you like it or not, and if it's something that uh, you find value in, then of course you can continue on with the subscription. Okay, guys, uh, long video. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the whole thing, if you're still with us. You're probably not. You're probably long gone, but uh, if you have, congratulations. Uh, but if you're interested in getting yourself the most uh, gorgeous truck we make at, uh, at Dodge, this is the one you're going to want to take a peek at. It's just a beautiful, beautiful truck. There's tons of stuff that we didn't even talk about when I did this video, but it would be nine hours long if I talked about everything. So we invite you to come down, try it out, see for yourself. Uh, we'd be happy to send you home in, uh, in a beautiful truck like this. And uh, I think you'd end up being pretty happy with it too. Hope to see you soon.